This is Top Contender Boxing. We keep it real, 100 and unbiased. Today's topic is Triple G versus Murata. It happened at 2 a.m. in the morning in Japan. But before I break down the fight, let me break down the fighter stat. Triple G's 40 years old. He's got 42 wins, 37 KOs, one loss, and one tie. Murata, he's 36 years old. He's got 16 wins, 13 KOs, three losses. I'm going to start off with Murata. Off the bat, Murata for the four rounds. He looked all right. He looked all right. He was going to the body of Triple G's, which made Triple G look look a lot of look real suspect to the body. But you know, besides that, Murata didn't have too much of a too much of a defensive game plan. He was going forward with, tri with Triple G. He was trying to take it to Triple G. He was trying to smother Triple G. He was trying to gas him and catch him. But Murata Murata had no defense. When he went backwards, he was getting caught a lot. He, his defense wasn't lateral. He had no no ring generalship. He had no real IQ in there. His defense looked like his face in that fight. I mean, you know, I don't I don't know if, if Murata had a game plan defensively, but his game plan offensively was trying to take it to the old man, Triple G. But Triple G, after the fifth round, he changed the fight. You know, it seemed like, it seemed like Triple G was trying to shake off some rust and some cobwebs. I mean, Triple G... I'm not gonna say he looked like old Triple G, but he uh, he he had some moments where he where age was starting to hit it, hit on him. He looked like the old, he looked like an older man, and the two years off, the two year layoff looked like it showed. You know, it, there wasn't a real real speed on Triple G. His legs seemed more stiff. He seemed more tired. He seemed I'm not gonna say gassed, but his age was showing that he doesn't have the same the same gas, the same energy when he fought. Canelo or fought any of the other past fighters. This fight showed a bit of age. And, um, I mean, yeah, he got he got Murata out in the ninth round. He took it to him in the late rounds. But it, Murata, he wasn't much of a much of an A-plus fighter. To me, he, he to me, Murata seemed like a, a C-plus fighter. I mean, Murata left himself open the whole time. He had no defense. Triple G had someone to punch in front of him the whole time. And when Murata was going back... He was getting caught with hooks. He would get caught with uppercuts. It seemed like the hook was his enemy in this fight, Murata. He would have his guard up, and he would get hooked from the side of it. And that's when he, his mouthpiece popped out. I mean, in reality, Murata didn't have too much of a defense. If you watch that fight, go through it, you'll notice that Murata left himself open a lot. Even though he had a high guard, he left himself open. Going backwards was not his, his, his forte. You know, he had no ring he had no ring generalship, he had no high high IQ, he had no lateral movement defensively. So Triple G, he does what Triple G Triple D Triple G does what Triple G does. He goes forward and tries to bully you. And that's what he was doing. But when a couple times when Triple G was going backwards, he was getting caught with body shots from Murata that looked really suspect. I mean, I don't know if it's the age or if it's you know, if it's if it's time, but um time out of the ring, but uh Triple G, he he didn't look like the old Triple G. And he's got a big fight, so they say. The rematch, the third, the trilogy against Canelo. I don't personally believe that uh, this Triple G is ready for for Canelo. Canelo's moved up three weights, and he, they're going to meet at a catch weight. He, it doesn't sound right. Canelo seems like the more hungrier, younger lion right now. And Triple G seems like the old veteran that's that's at his time right now. I mean, 40 years old. I mean, anything can happen. It's boxing. But at 40 years old, it showed today that uh, his speed is not there. His, he has no, Triple G has no defense, no real head movement. His defense is his power and his head. Triple G just feels like if he, if he can muscle you, he can just take those punches. I mean, don't get me wrong. Triple G still has the same power. He's, he, he's still that lion with power. But the younger guys, the young, younger, quicker, more defensively fighters will catch him. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of things to look at today watching that fight. I just didn't see the old Triple G of old. I mean, that two year that two year uh, layoff, I think hurt him. The age hurt him. I mean, if you notice Triple G, he has a hump in his back. His defense, when he goes backwards, he leaves himself open. I mean, if if you notice going to the body, what hurt him? That that was the main point. Murata tried to execute. Murata had no power in his hands. He had no real sting off his punches. And uh, and every time he would punch Triple G, he had a high guard 
And Triple G was pretty much blocking all his punches. A couple times, yeah, when, when Murata went to the body, it, it, it actually stunned uh, Triple G. It made him think twice about how he approached them. But Triple G, Triple G did what Triple G does. Ninth round knockout. That power hasn't gone yet. So that's that's really what what I've been noticed. His power hasn't gone, but his gas, his power, his gas and his agility is, is not there. I'm going to leave it there with this. I personally don't believe he's ready for for Canelo. I think he should fight maybe a Charlo or a Jaime Munguia. Someone at the 60. He shouldn't move up to a catchweight to fight Canelo. It wouldn't be a good look for him at this age. I personally believe that. Everyone has their thoughts and opinions. My opinion is that Canelo right now, it's it's he's food to him. He's food to Canelo. He has no defense. That's what Canelo is going to utilize the body and utilize the uppercuts to the chin. And it's going to show something we've never seen in Triple G. And I don't want to see that in Triple G. I would like to see him, you know, go on a high note. You know, get a couple more belts at 60, retire. You know, he's a good fighter. He's still a great fighter. He's a legend. And, uh, you know, he should go out correctly. Because if he fights Canelo, it's, it's not going to be... It's not going to be something we all going to want to watch and want to, to see. So we'll leave on that. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.